So do you know that Pro Tools has the capability of opening a session on a network drive? I do it all the time. So let me show you how to do this. So before I continue, I wanted to show you my folder structure. So I have an applications folder, my DVR folder, HomeNet, HomeNet 2 and HomeNet 3. So I have this folder called PT over network. Let me show you guys. So we're going to click that right here. So in this folder, I'll have all my sessions. Currently, I only have one. You're going to see all the revisions, some MP3s. And as you can see, I have something here that I did yesterday. So just to show you guys that this is over a network and not on a local drive, let's check the path out. As you can see, here's the IP of the local machine. So let's go ahead and open this session here. So as soon as this opens up, I'll come right back. Okay, so the session has loaded. If I press the space bar, plays without any issues whatsoever. So if you're still wondering why would you want to do this? Well, when I get sessions, they go to this folder. All I have to do is unzip them. I'm able to launch the session and I'm able to clean it up. For example, we take a look at the clips window. I'll get rid of the stuff that we don't need. Most of the time when I get the session, what I get is exactly what the artist wants. So I don't have to go through alternative takes or anything like that. They'll tell me right away. We did this ahead of time. So the way you got it, that's the way we want it. So I'll just get rid of all that stuff. Remember, it's important that you do a save as. You don't want to destroy the original session. A while ago, I showed you guys how to slim down your session. That information is outdated. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. All you want to do is come right here. You want to click on clip list. You're going to get this window here. Then you want to click select and you want to select on use. As you can see, that's everything that's currently not being used. Now we're going to click clear. Now you're going to be presented with this window. Remove selected clips from the session. Move to recycle and bend or delete. You don't want to do any of those except remove. We press remove. It's going to get rid of everything, but it's not destructive. So now we're able to go to file, save copy in. Make sure you set the session parameters correctly. Make sure you set it up for the proper uh, Pro 2 session. In this case, I'm going to keep it at the latest version. But if you're going to send this to somebody that's using an earlier version of Pro Tools, then you can go ahead and do that as well. I forgot to mention something. If you're trying to play a session over a network and Pro Tools keeps telling you that the disk isn't fast enough, all you need to do is increase the disk cache and hopefully that should solve your issue. I forgot about that. That's extremely important. So if this information helps one or two people out there, I did my job. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. This is Ray and I'm out of here. Later, guys.